you know, you've got uh, Lidl Trek, you've got Tudor Pro Cycling, you had Uno X, and they're quite intent on in, in making this uh, ascent as quick as possible. Quick glance behind there, job done Oof. over to his teammates, and this is a constant pressure all the way up, and I think you, you, you mentioned um, August there uh, for uh, NH Grenadiers. If you're too far, um, you know, you can be a, as relaxed as you can hitting this climb. If you're too far back, you're going to have to make a huge effort to come up to the front. One rider that we're missing is uh, Axel Laurence. Uh, we do know that he went back to the team car to get, um, well, presumably some uh, paracetamol. But look at the scramble there. We also have a rider for uh, Bora Hansgrohe. I'm thinking it's either uh, Hayek, the Austrian rider, or Ben Svihoff. But now it's Lukas Eriksson at the front. Marco Brenner is uh, is looking really, really good. Matthias Facek, of course, the deadly duo there of Little Trek. Two kilometers to go. And this is that little sector where it's flat. And then the road starts to rise again. That final kilometer, that's where we hit the big, big gradients. 12% average when we get to that final kilometer. That's where you have to make your move. But of course, the first selection has already been made because if you're now in 10, 15, 20th position, it's going to be incredibly difficult to move up at this pace. Yeah, but look at the splits in the peloton already. Um, mm -hmm. We're just onto that flat part, and you know, we're in a, a very small group come round this corner and it kicks up again and I'm pretty sure that Swedish champion is going to kind of nail this one um, and everybody's just kind of trying to kind of hold on you look at this group I think um, there's only the one rider I can see um, down towards and that's Oscar Rodriguez it's there for, uh, for Team Ineos and he's in about 30th position We've got four riders at the front for Uno X as well. So uh, Dveshnes is there, Holter is there, Kort is there, I think Idar Andersen. Yeah, this is the end for uh, Wout van Aert. He tried 57 too days. Hard. Yeah, it's too hard. 57 days after his crash. But that's what he's here to do, to test himself and to see if he can race without pain. He already indicated that he's not completely pain-free, especially from that sternum fracture and these ribs. But he's here to get better and to test himself. And that's what he did at the first half of the climb. But now it's uh, over for Wout van Aert. We go back to the front. The two main contestants now are Thibaut Nice and Marco Brenner. Um, also, Dversnes and Holter are still there. Axel Laurence has moved to the front. He's the rider there of uh, the Alpecin, the Koning team. Bart Lemon also moving to the front. I think with time and Graat of the uh, Visma Lisa bike team. But at the moment, it's Frederik Dversnes fully confident there for the Uno X team. They have been incredibly successful since the start of May with uh, three professional wins with um, Gutmannstadt in Feenendaal, Christoph twice on Belgian soil. They won, um, they, they, they won a race in Norway as well with Idar Andersen, who's still in this train. So, uh, yeah, they have been flying high. And, of course, they want to show themselves in their home race. We're now on the very sh steep gradients with oh, the deadly duo go. of Vacek and, and Timo Nice. Look at that. It's going to be a tandem time trial. Matthias Vacek, he... He was incredibly strong already in the Tour of Hungary. And that's what he did in Hungary as well for Thibaut Nice, making sure he was there. It looks to be Bart Lemon there coming uh, for Visma Lisa bike. But Matthias Facek, this man, is an MVP for Thibaut Nice. Look at the gap. We're on the steepest part now. This is 10, 12%. And they're just cruising to the top as if they are on a grocery ride. They are at 500 meters to go. Matthias Vacek with Thibaut Nice. Thibaut Nice was, of course, the big favorite to pull it off today. But they make it seem so, so easy. This is almost the end of the really steep bit. And the only thing that Thibaut Nice has to do right here is follow the wheel of Matthias Vacek, the national champion of the Czech Republic. This Melissa bike, they're trying, but they are already in sight of the Finnish camera. Timo Nice, he said that he had some illness and he was struggling a little bit after the Tour of Hungary. But if you have a man like Matthias Vacek by your side, well, what else can you do but win the race? It flattens out in the final 200 meters. The chasers, they try to get a little bit closer, but it's going to be a little bit too late as well. Thibaut Nice with Matthias Vacek. He does what he came to do here, the final 100 metres. He had his first professional win here in Norway. That was in Stavanger uh, last year. And this is win number seven for Thibaut Nice. And he makes it look so incredibly easy. 
Timo Nijs and Matthias Vacek. What a team result by uh, Lidl Trek. Timo Nijs does it. He wins stage one and is the first leader of the Tour of Norway. But uh, Brian, this was a collective team effort by Lidl Trek because each and every one of these riders contributed to this win.